Hi friends, this is Callie. Thank you for joining me today for another video tutorial. I'm watercoloring using Daniel Smith watercolors and painting images from the Pretty Pink Posh Anemone set. I've stamped my images on Arches Cold Press watercolor paper using Versafine Onyx Black ink. You can also choose to emboss it if you don't want the colors to bleed into each other, going from petal to petal. And heat setting it is helpful also if you don't want to smear or smudge the ink. You'll see later that I do smudge a little bit of ink, um, but it's really not a problem because the colors kind of hide it. You can also stamp in a lighter color if you want no line watercoloring and if you're comfortable with that. Since I want to share my way of doing watercoloring today, I want the lines to be visible for you. I'm by no means a watercolor artist and I'm just sharing how I watercolor, so let's dive right in. On my first petal, you'll notice that I did a light water wash over the entire petal before adding any paint. You don't have to start it this way, and you'll notice later that I apply paint without doing the water wash first. The important thing is that you're able to blend that pigment out before it gets too dry to work with. I'm applying paint now without doing a water wash first, putting it where I think the darkest part of the petal is going to be. And every time I clean my brush, I'm also wiping the excess water off on my chamois there to my right. This allows for more controlled blending on each petal. I also like to add depth to my petals by paying attention to the curves on the petal itself. Where there is a divot on the petal towards the top there, I like to add a little bit of paint to create the look of a bend and curve onto the petal. I think this gives the flower a more realistic look and adds a little bit more texture. So after applying those darkest areas of paint, I am going to clean off my brush and remove the excess water on my chamois and then blend it out with a very lightly damp brush. I also want to talk about this particular petal because there's also a fold in the petal where it's visible. So you want to put the darkest parts on that fold towards the outer edges because the part that's pointing up is going to be reflecting sunlight so it's going to be the lighter part. And you'll also notice that I can use a damp brush with no paint on it to also remove paint if the paper is still wet. So in, in areas where I want the paint to look lighter, I just take my brush and it's barely damp with no paint on it and I just wipe over the area that I want to remove color from to give it a lighter look. Once I was done coloring all of my pink flowers, I moved on to the centers of the flowers by applying a green gold paint to the center of the rings. Again, I blended the color with a damp brush, then began working on the stamen with an orange or yellow color. And then I went back with the green gold and just added some texture towards the centers of the flowers. Anemone leaves are not like traditional leaves, so I just colored however I thought was right for these, adding darker pigment in the corners and blending them towards the center. And also in the next frame, you'll see that I went ahead and colored the leaves and stem of the other flower and then went back to this one because I felt like it needed more dimension. So you can definitely go back to a dry image and apply more color if you need to. You just need to make sure that you cover the entire image or section again with an even layer of water while blending out that pigment that you add to it to make sure that there are no harsh lines when it dries again. Okay, so after almost three hours of painting later, yes, it took me that long, um, I made sure it was all dry before die cutting it and I began working on my card panel. I'm ink blending with tumbled glass and salty ocean. The salty ocean is towards the center, it's darker, and then I'm wanting to fade it out into a lighter blue. And it's okay that it's not perfect because most of the flowers and leaves are going to be covering up that middle section where it's a little bit more heavy handed. This is my favorite ink blending tool, by the way. It's a large jumbo dauber. So if you're interested in trying it out for yourself, it's what works great for me. Um, you can find it in the descriptions below. Again, it's a large jumbo dauber. So now after um, I splash it with a little bit of water for texture and remove the excess with a paper towel, I am just laying out my images and adhering down what I want in the background and propping up the petals and leaves that I want to be in the forefront of the image um, with 3M foam tape. I also want to mention that anytime I ink blend a panel like this or a full panel that's that goes all the way to the edges, I want to make sure that I trim off the edges. So I've cut off an eighth of an inch off each side to remove that harsh line where the ink blending occurred. And after I adhere all of my images, I want to splash some paint on it. So I've used an old box that I have um, where I always do my splattering because I, I do get the splatters everywhere. 
um, I go ahead and splatter some white paint on it. I love doing that for additional texture and interest. Um, I decide to mat this on a light brown, almost light gray brown cardstock. It's not as dark as a craft cardstock. So I do that and because I am always in a rush, I don't wait for the paint to dry and I just go ahead and add the adhesive to my card base or card panel or matting panel and then adhere my wet panel on top of that. So I kind of work backwards but it helps me um, create a little bit faster with four kids around. And finally to finish my card, I went ahead and used a stamp set from Birdie Friends from Pretty Pink Posh and embossed it on black cardstock with white embossing powder and adhered it to the center of the card there, tucking the right side under one of those leaves. And that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this card. Please be sure to check out my previous videos and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!